Hey, what's going on my party people? We're gonna go ahead and skip the introduction because y'all already know who it is. So today, by the looks of the title, y'all know what just happened, boys. A semi just pulled up in front of my house with a pallet. Five Dayton's, boys. So let's get right up into it. So here it is. This is what we got, right? 13 by seven, reverse, triple cross-laced, 72 spoke Dayton wire wheels. Now, before we even get all up into it, like I said, I bought five. But I only got one out here because it kind of started raining earlier. As you can see, all my whips is all dirty and stuff now. So that's cool, I guess. But uh, a little bit of stuff that's included. As you can see, day and wire wheel hammer. Wash hands after handling because it is a lead hammer. And it also comes with this lubri plate grease which is essentially supposed to go on the threads for the knockoff. Now, let me go ahead and show y'all. This is what we're rocking here. Nah. Eh. All right. So, I've taken the liberty of, you know, taking one of them out the box. That way, y'all can see what's going on here. So, without further ado, here we have it. We got here our warning labels, our maximum wheel load of 1,300 pounds, maximum tire diameter of 26 inches, as well as our stamp here, tubeless wheels do not use inner tubes. For those of y'all who don't know, there it is. So don't use tubes, boys, please. Just seal your wheels. If you don't know how to seal them, revert back to my videos that show you. Because, I mean, come on. It's 2022, boys. Y'all should know. So, yeah, here it is. Obviously, past inspection. Everything is good. Moving on. So, as you can see, I went with those beautiful dog ear two bar knockoffs. Not to mention the beautiful cross lay 72 spoke design boys make sure to drop a like let me know what y'all think about these bad boys in the comments and let me show you a couple of features so as you all see it does indeed have the Dayton wire wheels engraved into the lip here I noticed that they used to have like a little sticker but I mean that's pretty gangster also so there's that as well as the hub boys hub is also stamped serial numbered and whatnot now these wheels they don't have chrome on the spokes they're actually like a polished stainless so it's not um i mean i don't, I don't know how to explain it boys um if you're really balling and you just coat everything in gold anyways and it won't matter but we're not there yet you know we're out here barely buying the d's and thinking we hard you know so you know i don't know i just feel blessed to be able to do this i plan on keeping this set of wheels forever you feel me i don't plan on selling them never pass them on to my son you know what i mean keep the low riding going but yeah boys here it is so as you can see the spokes are all the uh how do i explain it like the little taper where it goes like from fat to skinny is a nice smooth transition it's not a big like dip like you would see on the china wheels and i mean clearly the design of the wheel itself obviously you're not gonna probably see it on china wheels unless you know they copy them which i mean it's china you know but i will say one thing so like i told you i got five wheels right i ordered with this knockoff and uh, i got them i opened the boxes and stuff well i opened this one wheel all the wheels are the same so that's cool but this was a separate knockoff as the rest of them came in this box right so i don't know if y'all know part numbers but obviously it's just the left and the right that's why the the zero and the one is different but the main thing i opened up this here box and to my surprise boys check this out they done sent me some three bars, boys. Damn. 
So I'm gonna let y'all check them out before I send them back and they can send me the correct thing. So I mean, these are very, very beefy units. Everything is all chrome, including the adapter. These adapters here, as you can see, hopefully you'll be able to read it. They are only five by 4.75 and five by five. So these will not work on your Lincolns. They will not work on anything that's not those bolt patterns, quite frankly. So we cannot go back to a Lincoln unless I slap like say these China adapters on there that have the five by four and a half pattern. Which I'm not too worried, boys, because as y'all see, we're rocking the G-Body. So it'll work. But I am indeed going to have to send these back. Um, they said they'd already cover the shipping, the return shipping, and uh, send mine out tomorrow. So my correct knockoffs should all be on their way by tomorrow. Not that I'm going to put these wheels to use anytime soon, necessarily. Um, I would really like to get this car A1 before I actually put the wheels on it and that includes I want to like reinforce the lower arm as well as chain it so shout out to the Cadillac Dan show here on YouTube make sure to check that out he does a lot of crazy and cool stuff and as well as he gave me a little bit of information so yeah I don't want to blow a ball joint and my whole wheel just come out and I drop down after hitting the switch or whatever and I lay the the whole front end of this wheel on the pavement right just makes no sense so I would really love to get her rolling clean as can be get it chained up in the front that way there's no possibility of that happening and we'll be rolling these D's on it at that point brothers so with that being said the only thing to do now is to just admire them dude I mean like damn like this ain't no China chrome we're dealing with here that's some damn look like you can probably even see me look you see me damn look oh that's damn damn boys yeah boys so like I've said a little bit of a background my very first set of Dayton's I actually got from my homie Ivan right which was a triple gold set of 72 straight laced 13s now those ones i bought for 300 dollars, brothers look at my hand 300 of the dollars but they did not have knockoffs or adapters it was just the wheels so i got you know china stuff to put it just to roll it and it actually was on an old g body which i'll post up right here boom And then, uh, yeah, I actually sold that car and those wheels, they weren't the greatest. You know, the gold was all faded out. The spokes though, the gold was still really like rich looking. It looked beautiful still, but the, the lips was all faded out, you know, all that good stuff. And then I also had another set of 72 straight laced day ins on my other Cadillac, which was my 94 Fleetwood, the blue one, which I'll drop right here. And um, yeah, brothers, so like I said, the second set, they weren't perfect neither, you know, because they were from 1990, boys. They were like, what is that, 30 years old or so? And I still paid $2,500. So these ones here, I got for a pretty good deal. Brand new, boys. I was going to buy some fancy Chinas, and I got a great deal instead. So it was about $1,000 more than a fancy set of Chinas. But I mean, come on. And uh, I'd also really like to give a shout out to Richline Motorsports. And uh, I got in contact with them. They hooked me up with a killer deal. It took, I'm not gonna lie, it took about five months, you know, for the wheels to be built and shipped to me. But, you know, time is money and players be playing, boy. I don't know, boy. So shout out to Richline Motorsports. Definitely gonna put their info down in the description below. Make sure to check them out. This is just a quick little video showcasing because I'm kind of hyped, boys. Just got them off the semi that pulled up. So yeah, 
Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, boys. Let me know what y'all think of these beautiful, beautiful Ds. Keep the 13s to the concrete, and I'll catch y'all on the next one, boys. Deuce.